Our journey continues here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We're on the road once again. This time we're taking on the Southern Jaguars in A.W. Montford Stadium, a.k.a. The Bluff. The Southern Jaguars have had an up and down season, but nevertheless, they're coming to this game at 4-3. Four 4-3, and three. Four and three, looking to go 5-3, and three. two more games to bowl eligibility. The Alabama State Hornets are looking to come into this game and continue their winning streak. Currently, we're 7-0 in the season. We're 4-0 in conference play. The Southern Jaguars take the field hoping to pull off one of the biggest upsets in college football history. The Alabama State Hornets have other plans. They want to stay undefeated and make it back to that national championship game. There goes Tommy Chavez, who's in first place on the Bolitnikoff list for now. And he's looking to add on to his tally in yards and touchdown receptions. And of course, both Lee and Kirk are picking us to win this game. Eric Harden is the first string wide receiver, but Trevor Walker is the impact player. 82 overall, 89 speed. He returns kicks. He returns punts. And, of course, he starts. And on top of that, he is a balanced wide receiver. Let's see if we can shut him down in the secondary. Mark Taylor, cornerback, 84 overall. They have two defensive backs that are impact players. Here's Mark Taylor, 84 overall. And then here goes, I believe his name is Josh Whitlock. Yeah. 88 overall, 87 speed. He pretty much can cover and he can hit. He's a senior, 6'3", 208 pounds. We have to look out for both of these cats before every snap and make sure that we don't turn the ball over. Because in this game, for sure, DBs are OP when they are impact players. As you see, Steve Rekobosti gets tackled out of bounds by the face mask. Good Lord. What a way to start off this game. And we tack on 15 yards today. Southern's coach can't believe it, but that was clearly a 15-yard penalty. We go right back to Steve Rickaboss and look at him find a hole and go to midfield. So we're going to do work right there. Dead pool rolling out to the left. He pops it up the middle, and the pass is dropped by Kevin Humphrey. Here we go again with this mess. So there goes Lorenzo Harris trying to get something going, but he's tackled right there at the 50-yard line. So here we go on fourth and four. Deadpool rolls out, pops it to Thomas Chavez, and he makes the catch. And we're inside enemy territory. First catch of the game for Thomas Chavez. So we see that Southern's running zone is to play fake. And look at the impact player cornerback come in and just break that up. Right before we can even get the pass off. That is nuts. Second and ten, we go right back to Steve Rokobasic. He's going to get that first down, and there goes the DB once again. He is all over the field. They are straight OP when they become impact players. Deadpool rolls out, pops it, and that was a touchdown. Kevin Humphrey, I'm starting to think you lied to us. So there goes Chad Hamilton trying to do something with it on the screen pass, but we get nowhere. So we decide to settle for three points with our true freshman kicker. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Great job by our freshman kicker. Now we're up three to nothing. Let's see what this Alabama State defense could do with Southern. So here we go. Offense on the field for the Southern Jaguars. There's the snap right there. There goes Byron popping it. And it's intercepted. There goes Josh Jones on our first play for screen. You better not get caught. Touchdown, Alabama State. Look at Josh Jones getting that pick six. A great play by our whole check defense. Alabama State is on the board once again. Josh Jones picking that ball off on man-to-man -man coverage and then get caught until after he crossed that goal line. We're now up 10 to nothing. So that goes Byron. Tepping back to pass and he gets sacked. Corey Swagger showing that swag. Look at this right here. Straight pull in the center right there. Pushing him aside and getting to the quarterback. Second and long now. Byron steps back to pass. Byron without the throw. He pops it down. Field and the pass is caught by Walker. Trevor Walker making that excellent catch over Josh Jones. He got the pick six earlier, but then he just got birthed, and the Southern Jack Wall fans are straight loving it. At the 131, Byron got under pressure when he gets sick. Look at Ryan Anderson coming in for the nickelback spot. Ryan Anderson showing that blazing speed, getting around the edge, and getting to the quarterback before he can get the ball off. 30 and 16 at the 137. Oh, no, that's not a play fake. That's a draw. Tuiasa Sopo gets the first down. Tuiasa Sopo got the first down there inside the red zone. Byron looking for the end zone. He pops it up the middle. It's picked off. The whole check defense strikes once again. Joe Brown coming in with that pick. When you're running 21 as a defensive back, 
That says a lot. So we got the ball back. It's a play fake. We're going to go downfield for Chad Hamilton. The home run ball. And the pass is dropped. Chad Hamilton, you had a chance to make a big play, so we're going back to the run game now. Steve Rokobas is not going anywhere beyond the line of scrimmage right there. 39 now. We got just a Frankie Beverly and Mays in the game. We give it to him, and the Southern Jaguar defense is not having it right now. So we're forced to punt the ball, and that is probably the shortest punt in the history of college football, and I have no idea what our punt is doing right there. No, I'm just playing. My controller was missing up. And there goes a second. Didn't miss up that time, though. Daniel Hayes gets the bottom before he can finish the play fake. Our offense is kind of struggling right now, but the defense is holding it down. Second and 16. Byron throws it deep down. Field and the pass is batted away. It should have been picked off by one of our safeties. Third and long out the horn to 37. Byron steps back the pass with all of the throws. He throws it downfield, and the pass is caught by Trevor Walker. Touchdown Southern, look at that pass and look at that catch. I forgot Walker is six foot seven. So please believe Byron will take full advantage of that. We're going right back to Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays though. Look at him turn the corner and get the first down before he's taken out of bounds. 55 yards rushing so far in the game. After one, we're up 10 to seven. We're not doing much on offense right now, but the defense minus giving up that touchdown run has not been bad. We do a draw play. That's something we never do before. He's not that fast, to be honest with you. So there goes Deadpool doing what he does. Best in that throw the ball downfield, finding Chad Hamilton. And tackled around the 45-yard line. We are cruising, approaching Southern Territory. The play fake right here. Deadpool steps back. Deadpool pops it, but he throws it out of bounds, and he almost hit the cameraman. Dang. Screen pass right here on second and 10. And, yeah, Tommy Chavez dropped the ball. We're not getting anything going right now. We haven't even converted a third down in this game. And we're not going to on this drive. So we decide to go forward on fourth and four. We see zone play from the Southern defense. Deadpool pops it. Under pressure and the pass is caught. Kevin Humphrey dropped two easy passes earlier in this game. But he decided to catch that one. So they're doing cover two. Once again, they pop it up the middle. And there goes Kevin Humphrey dropping another pass. Yeah, he lied to us, people. We might have to make that move back. But there goes Thomas Chavez not telling a single lie about him. Touchdown Alabama State. There goes a great pass by Deadpool on the play fake. Thomas Chavez with the great catch. We're in the end zone once again. Our first time in the end zone on offense for the game. We're now up 17-7. Southern Jack Walsh had to respond. On the ensuing kickoff, there goes Walker returning it. Walker breaking tackles, doing spin moves. Oh, we got away. Look at this. Oh, my God. Thank God. Somebody caught him. He ran into traffic and somebody caught him. Second and three now. Southern. Play fake. Pops it up the middle. It's picked off again by Joe Brown. The Alabama State whole check defense comes through once again. And Joe Brown with his second interception of the ball game. We're going to do a play fake of our own. We're going to pop it deep downfield for Chad Hamilton. He almost hit the cheerleaders. We got to work on that deep ball accuracy on the sideline. Steve Rokobasic with the handoff. Steve Rokobasic taking it up the corner. Steve Rokobasic down the left sideline. Steve Rokobasic tackling inside the 25-yard line. Steve Rokobasic is an absolute monster. He should be up for that Dope Walker Award, too. And look at that catch right there. Kevin Humphrey finally getting it together. Touchdown Alabama State. Another touchdown pass for Deadpool and Kevin Humphrey finally finding his hands. I guess he found them in the locker room or something. So now we do another play fake, and we're not having it. There goes Ryan Anderson, our true sophomore, coming in from the nickelback spot, getting his second sack of the game. Second alone now is Byron steps back the pass. He pops it. Walker makes the catch. Now it's 39. As Byron steps back the pass again, pops it up the middle, and the pass is caught by Taylor. That's a cornerback making that catch, so he plays both ways like Charles Woodson or Dory Jackson and Champ Bailey like they used to do back in the day. Byron pops it up the middle once again, and now they're just straight torturing our man-to-man -man coverage. It seems like we can't run that right now. It's not working. Third and ten now. Byron steps back to pass, and he gets sacked. Great sack right there by Walker. Getting into the backfield once again. It's the Alabama State whole check defense. First and ten now at our own 20-yard line. Steve Rokobastic past the 30. Steve Rokobastic tackle at the 35-yard line. We got the ball back after we forced him to punt. Now we're going to do pass right here. Man-to-man -man coverage. We pop it. And the pass is intercepted. 
The pass is intercepted. I got so pissed off. I couldn't believe that got intercepted. I got, thought Kevin Humphrey was going to go in and moss him. So Byron gets sacked though. Look at Grant Garcia, Italian, on his sack number on the season. He has been excellent for us so far this year. Oh my gosh, look at that sack right there. That looked like Rashawn Pearson right there. Defensive lineman getting sacks today. And yes, that was Rashawn Pearson, our true sophomore out of Ocean Springs, Mississippi. So at halftime, we are now up 24 to 7. The Alabama State Hornets have full control, but this is college football. Anything can happen. We must continue to keep Southern out the end zone. We must continue to put a push on defense. Look at Grant Garcia once again getting in the backfield. Another sack on the season for the junior out of Boaz, Alabama. So now it's 30-15 at their own 16-yard line. Byron steps back and that pass. Oh, my gosh. What was that? What was that? That should have been a loss. But they got something out of it. Nevertheless, we got the ball back. We're going to do a play fake. We're going to go deep downfield for Thomas Chavez. He's down there, and he caught it. He caught it, and he's tackled at the one-yard line. What a play that was by the Alabama State offense. We're going to give it to Lorenzo Harris, our five-star running back out of San Francisco, California. Touchdown, Alabama State. Another touchdown for the Hornet offense. And now we're up 31-7 to in mid-third quarter. Byron stepping back in this. Oh, my gosh. He just got baptized with the holy water. 33 now. Goal line set. We're not fourth though. Look at Grant Garcia diving in for his third sack of the game. And now they're facing fourth and eight. Have to get the ball right back to us. We're going to do another play feed. We're going to pop it to Chad Hamilton. Chad Hamilton makes the catch. He's in Southern Territory. Chad Hamilton past the 20. Oh, we caught it. Oh, we caught it. He broke loose. Touchdown, Alabama State. Touchdown, Alabama State. What a play by Chad Hamilton breaking away from the secondary. Look at that right there. The safety thought he had him, but he got away. Look at that. He's showing some strength and power right there. An excellent play by Chad Hamilton after the catch. We are now up 38-7, to and we still popping. Oh, Greg Garcia missed on the second. He pays for it. Oh, my gosh. Look at Davis. Catch him, John. Catch him, Reed. Catch him, Reed. Oh, thank God he caught him. He caught him there inside the five-yard line. He's at the two. So now can we hold them off? Can we hold them off too? Y'all so far, no we cannot. They get into the end zone again. The Southern fans are just happy they once again scored. That's crazy. Steve Rokobastic making people miss though. Getting tackled just past the 30 yard line. He now has over 100 yards on the day. We're gonna do a play fake right here. We're gonna pop a deep downfield by six foot nine true freshman. And look at Kevin Humphrey making that catch. So for some reason, Humphrey can't make the easy catches, but he can make spectacular catches. That's nuts. So Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays went nowhere there. So we're going to do a screen pass right here to Chad Hamilton. And he breaks free and gets inside the 10-yard line. A great play that was by Chad Hamilton. His ability after the catch is just absolutely dangerous. As Deadpool finds nobody open right there and gets tackled at the 5-yard line. So we got second and goal. We're going to give it to Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays, and he cruises into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. Another excellent play by the Alabama State offense. A great drive. 45 to 14 is now your score. Brian is in the game. Oh, my gosh, Greg Garcia. You better not get caught or you off the team. Oh, you off the team. No, I'm just playing, man. You are best defensive player. I'm not kicking you off the team. I'm crazy, man. I'm straight tweaking if I kick you off the team. Grant Garcia with another interception of the season. After three, we were now up 45 to 14. We just got to close it out now and go on to the next game, which is the Magic City Classic. And Kevin Humphrey once again dropping easy passes in the end zone. Yeah, Kevin Humphrey lied to us, people. So Tommy Chavez tries to go somewhere on that screen pass, but he gets nowhere. Fourth and ten now. We're going to let our nuts hang a little bit. We're going to go ahead and go for it. Deadpool rolling out. Finding Tommy Chavez in the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. Tommy Chavez gets into the end zone once again. His second catch for a touchdown in this game. We're now up 52 to 14. And look at, oh my gosh, there it is again. The Alabama State hold check defense. And now Ryan Anderson has a hat trick of interceptions. And look at this. Charles Alexander, where you going? Ha <laughs> ha And again, the Alabama State hold check defense comes through once again. We got our, well, take that back. We just got Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays in the game. 
We're going to let Steve Rekobasic rest for the rest of this game, get him ready for the Magic City Classic. Our goal right now is to make sure that our players are still healthy and we need to go ahead and get Deadpool out of there now. We want to get one more scoring position to this first string offense until we get him out the field. And there goes Tommy Chavez making an excellent catch right there. First and 10 at the Jaguar 32. Deadpool's popping it up the middle. And look at that catch by Kevin Humphrey. Tackled around the five yard line. We now have three players with over 100 yards in this game. They hand off to Justin Frankie Beverly. Amazing. He gets into the end zone with ease yet again. Touchdown Alabama State. A great drive that was. And now our first string players can risk. We got our second string defense in the game. And once again, they get another set. The Alabama State whole check defense showed just how fun they can be as the Alabama State Hornets improve their eight and on the season. 59 to 14 is your final score. We cruise once again, and now we get ready for them boys coming down all the way from Huntsville, Alabama. Let's take a look at the stats now. Deadpool had a great game, minus that interception, but I'm not mad about that. He did have four touchdown passes. Steve Rekobasi did a great job moving the chains today. Unfortunately, we couldn't get him in the end zone. Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays scored two touchdowns. Lorenzo Harris did a good job as well. Tommy Chavez, Kevin Humphrey, and Chad Hamilton had great games, but Kevin Humphrey was straight tweaking today. He should have had at least three touchdown catches, and I'm very upset about that. We put him in the starting lineup, or, well, not starting lineup, but we moved him up in the depth chart, and he's just straight lying to us. Maybe he's not built for these moments just yet. Look at that. Four drops by Kevin Humphrey. Composure is everything in this game. Ryan Anderson had a great game. A hat trick of sex, seven tackles, and four tackles for loss. We did a, we did a good job blitzing the quarterback for the Southern Jaguars. We had a lot of sex. What's that? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 sacks once again, just like we did versus Alcorn State. And then we had five interceptions, two from Joe Brown, our starting free safety, one from Alexander, one from Garcia, and one from Josh Jones. Josh Jones, of course, took his bet for a pick six. We was hoping Greg Garcia's take his bet, but he got caught from behind, man. We really wanted him to get that pick six. But that's a wrap. Join us next time. We're going to get ready for the Magic City Classic. Peace.